aggressive, quickest to the outside line, running the outside, you know, making a lot of hay, making passes and things like that. That finish at the end is the only one missing. Just a little bit more. Ooh, second for Reddick. 32-65. That bumps Chase Elliott. And it and he just locked himself into the fast five and the final round. Is this the weekend that that eight car for Richard Childress Racing with Tyler Reddick goes to victory lane? Puts it all together. This type of racetrack you talked about his aggression with the shifting and all that you have to go through to be fast here. He could be one of the very, very favorites. Guys, with just three drivers left to go, including Christopher Bell, we know there will be two Chevrolet drivers in the next round. Tyler Reddick, who just qualified, Ross Chastain from that first round, but no Hendrick Chevrolet driver will go in the second round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what Christopher Bell does. Been coming on really strong, been, uh, you know, up front a lot here as of late, about the last month, doing a good job, holding a pretty wheel. They're qualifying well. As Christopher Bell has nine final round appearances. That's the most of any driver in the Cup Series. The car washed up just a little bit, a little bit of a diamond. The car looks stable and underneath of him, though. I like what you said about Truex, Clint. It looks smooth, but that's just Truex. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when you look that smooth, you're just not going very fast. But in Martin's case, that's not the deal. Christopher Bell, smooth racer as well. Needs to beat an 86. Does so with a there you go. 3270. That I think, knocks out Martin Truex. Yeah, there we go. And it moves Kurt Busch onto the bubble. And it, Christopher Bell just locked himself in. Jamie? Well, so much talk about how this place races like Phoenix. Who was on the pole there? This guy, Ryan Blaney. And I know you're on the hot seat right now watching with two cars to go. But anything that you could have done differently there? Or did you get everything? Uh, I kind of missed three and four a little bit. I got. Got in there a little too deep, got loose, and was up the track. So uh, we'd like to get another shot at it, see if I can uh, do a better job in this Dent Wizard Ford Mustang. Just uh, hope we do. All right, Ryan Blaney, fourth right now. He has a 71. Kurt Busch has an 80. It's Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch to go. Logano, Reddick, and Bell locked into the final round. Blaney and Kurt Busch against Denny Hamlin and Kyle. Won the pole last week. Can he do it again this week? When I saw Christopher Bell run the lap that he did. Gives me a lot of confidence for Denny Hamlin in his lap. Found some speed from last uh, yesterday. You know, struggle in practice. We talked about it at the top of the show. These the, all the Toyotas were struggling a little bit. It was pretty much a dominant four day. Everybody goes to work. They go back, dig into those computers, and find some simulation, find some speed. Isn't it funny? He led most of the first nine laps last week and and most of the last dozen and nothing in between. There it is. Knocked Kurt Busch out. Wow. Right, right on the bubble, though. 3276 for Hamlin. Takes Kurt Busch out of the fast five. You know what's funny? You look at the stats. You see, uh, you just casually say, Denny started first, finished first. Oh, that's a pretty good day for him. Yeah. <laughs> what about what happened in between? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. A lot, by All the right. way. So it's down to Kyle Busch against Denny Hamlin for the final spot. That locked Ryan Blaney in, by the way, to the final round. We've seen a couple of guys come out of the pit and warm their tires and scuff them in here and one and two at a slower speed. But this is the, the, the slowest extreme. we've seen them and the most they've done that. We'll see if that pays off, out, pays off for Kyle Busch. Here in St. Louis with Snickers on that car. Is that, what's that remind you of, Clint? You talked about it yesterday. The great Kenny Schrader. Oh, right? yeah. Schrader's yep. in his cars down there. I say, man. It was a long time ago, Mike. What'd you do last night? It looks night? like a Snickers bar to me, and it looks pretty darn good and inviting. That's what I want. What'd you get into last night? I just went down and, and took in downtown, saw, you know, watched uh, you work, actually, yeah. on tracks on a big, giant screen TV down there. What a cool city. And that big screen is located right above where third base on the old Bush Stadium was. It's now a park and a memorial to the original stadium, wow. the new one built right next door. It's so cool. They left the, the actual infield right there and just moved Bush Stadium over there and built that spectacle. How about that? Seventh 